It's no secret that Twitter has been far left for a while and they've been almost exclusively banning right-wing accounts. So how does the media see this? Elon Musk is reinstating banned Twitter accounts. Here's who's back. They're almost exclusively right-wing figures. Just just ignore the fact that it was almost exclusively right-wing figures being banned. No, 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 there might be a reason that most of them coming back are right wing. I wonder what that reason. Oh, it must be Manazis. On the day Musk took over Twitter, he made a proclamation. Twitter will be forming a content moderation council with widely diverse viewpoints. No major con decisions or account reinstatements will happen before the council convenes, which I guess happened. Well, it seems that uh, that's been thrown out the window. No council has been formed or convened yet. Musk has authorized a reinstatement number formally banned or suspended Twitter accounts. Well, to be fair, he tried to make this council. And uh, remember how the defamation league was actually supposed to be on it? So after Musk bent the knee to the defamation league, they still went and tried and, and were telling advertisers to not advertise on Twitter. So he he probably decided at that point that these activists aren't worth dealing with. The Mashbos acquired a list of the most notable accounts which have been unbanned. So Orange Man, the Babylon Bee. Oh wow, how is how is Twitter gonna survive with actual comedy on the site? Jordan Peterson and, and well, Sargon of Akkad and Rakeda as well. Before we uh, lest anyone forget, Kathy Griffin. Yep, far right wing Kathy Griffin. Andrew Tate, who was banned for like bullshit political reasons. Marjorie Taylor Greene, who, uh, so by the way, if Orange Man could be sued for blocking someone on Twitter, Twitter should not be allowed to ban any politician. So, so actually, wait, wait up. Now that I think about it, if, if the Supreme Court or if the courts decided Orange Man can't block anyone on Twitter because that's like somehow violating some freedom of information or whatnot. Doesn't that mean that by banning Trump, twi Twitter basically did that to everybody? Yeah, they should all be in fucking jail for that. Yeah, Veritas, James Lindsay, Sargon of Akkad, Megan Murphy, yeah, Kanye West as well. Yeah, this is, this is great. Yeah, so, so oh, for, for years, it was almost exclusively right-wing accounts being banned. Now they're crying that it's not fair because it's mostly right-wing accounts being unbanned. No shit, Sherlock. Oh, yeah, Milo should get his account back. Yeah, oh, Milo is, that's the first instance I'm aware of where someone was de-verified. Yeah, th that just shows how worthless their verification system always was, huh? If someone could just be de-verified like that.